Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am back with another tutorial for you. I'm a little bit under the weather, but the show must go on, but that's why my voice is kind of like nasally, so I'm sorry for that. But today I'm gonna be doing a how to get glowing skin tutorial because you guys know if you've watched my other videos that I have very dry skin, but I like my skin to look glowy and luminous. And we're in the dead of winter right now in New Jersey, so my skin is like super dry. So it can be a little hard to get it looking like super glowy and luminous, but I found a routine that really works for me recently so I figured that I would go ahead and share it with you guys in a tutorial and show you step by step how I do it so if you guys are interested in seeing that then please just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Alright you guys, so the first step to getting glowing skin starts with your skincare because if your skin is like dry and flaky, it just ain't gonna work. So you have to really make sure that your skin is looking hydrated and bright. So the first thing that I'm gonna go in with is this Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I have been loving this recently. You guys saw me use this in my Valentine's Day tutorial. I just kind of put it underneath the eye. You only need a tiny bit of this product. A little bit goes a really long way. And then I just spread this out with my finger. I love this product because it's very lightweight eye moisturizer but it gives my eyes like so much brightness and it also really hydrates my under eye. I also bring it up beneath my brow bone as well because I find sometimes with really thick eye creams they can really hydrate your under eye but they really get in the way of like your concealer and stuff and can make it creasy but this does not because it is really lightweight but it still does really moisturize and brighten my under eye area and this product does do a really great job of really prepping the eye area for makeup application so you can go ahead and apply your makeup over it and it's not going to make your under eyes look like super dry and patchy. Then I'm going to go in with the Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. This is a serum. I am obsessed with it. I've been using it every single morning before I do my makeup to prep my skin for makeup application. Now for primer, I'm going to go in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. You guys know I have been obsessed with this and it just makes the skin glow like no other primer I have ever tried. I'm obsessed with it and it just like makes the skin look and feel so silky smooth so I love it so I'm just going to work that all over my face. And then just one more primer, I am going to go in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the smoothing one. You guys know that I love this and I just apply this in places that I have enlarged pores to fill them in. So I normally just apply this product right in this area because this is where I tend to get enlarged pores but you just want to put this anywhere where you have some visible like big pores. Now moving on to foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is an amazing full coverage foundation, but it has a natural finish, so it's not matte, which is really great. And I also like this foundation because it's kind of like undetectable on the skin. It just makes your skin look perfect, but still look like skin. So I really like this. It doesn't make your skin super duper glowy because we're gonna go in and really add the glow in key areas where we want to add it. I didn't wanna do something where my whole face was glowy, but this has a natural finish instead of a matte finish, and that's really important for this look. So you you can use really any foundation that has a natural finish. And then I'm just going to go blend that out with the Beauty Blender. My Beauty Blender is dampened. This is a great tool when you want to make your foundation look a little bit more luminous. I love the Beauty Blender. You guys know that. So I'm just blending this all out. Then to conceal, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I also like this because it kind of does dry to more of like a natural type finish, I would say. It's not necessarily a super matte finish, so I like this when I want more natural, glowy, luminous looks. So I'm going to apply this in a triangle underneath my eye to conceal and brighten that area. And then I'm also going to bring it down the bridge of my nose just to highlight that area and right above my cupid's bow. And then I am also going to put some in the center of my forehead, like right in between my brows, just to bring light to that area. And then again, I'm just blending that all out with the beauty blender.
Now to set where I conceal it, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but it's really important that you only set the areas that you did apply the concealer. Don't set all of your face where you did the foundation because that's just gonna take away any of the natural luminosity of your skin and it's just gonna make it look powdery. So you definitely just wanna use this in places like underneath your eyes and down the bridge of your nose, like places where you wouldn't want your concealer to crease. And just so you guys know, I know I did show in my highlight and contour routine how I bake, and I do do that, still love it, but that's for a much more full coverage, like long lasting look, not for a, like a dewy glowing skin look. So I'm not baking, I'm just using a tiny bit of concealer and setting anywhere just so that the concealer does not crease. Then I'm gonna go in and contour out my cheeks with Hula from Benefit. Then for my cheeks, I want to go in with a blush that has a little bit of shimmer to it, so I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Glisten. I'm going to pack this like right above where I did my contour. We don't want to bring it up too high because that's where we're going to highlight. Now for highlight, the most exciting part, I'm first going to go in with the Benefits What's Up Highlighter. I love this. I have the full size version of this, which is like way bigger. This is like a little travel size version that I got in like a travel kit from Benefit. And I like this one a little bit better because it's smaller, but you can get the same effect with the regular full size one as well. You probably just want to put it on a brush instead of using the applicator. But what I'm going to do with this, this is like a cream highlight. So I'm going to put it on my cheekbones. I'm just going to use it from here, but then I am going to blend it out. So I'm going to put it anywhere that I'm going to put the powder highlight. So I'm going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to bring it down the bridge of my nose and right above my cupid. So. And then for the final and most important step, I'm going to go in with Becca's Champagne Pop. I am obsessed with this. Jaclyn Hill and Becca really killed it on this product. It is just the most beautiful highlighter and it makes you look so glowing, so I'm gonna go in with this highlight palette. I'm gonna use the Tapered F7 Highlight Brush from Mojo Beauty, and I'm just going to tap it into the product. A little bit of this stuff does go a long way, but we wanna look super glowing, so I'm going to put that on the tops of my cheeks. A lot of times I'll do it kind of like in a C to kind of bring the glow up a bit. And as you guys can see, just having that like um, benefits watts up down first, and then applying this really amplifies the highlight and makes it look so, so pretty. And I am going to bring that down the bridge of my nose as well and above the cupid's bow. And then for the last and final step, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and I'm basically going to douse myself in this. I love this because this is going to set our makeup and make sure that it lasts all day since we didn't use really a lot of powder but it's not gonna make us look powdery, so I'm gonna go douse my face in this. So yeah, that is how I get super glowing skin, even though I have the driest skin in the world. I hope that this video did help you guys if you want a glowy, luminous look. Let me know any other types of videos that you guys wanna see from me down below, and I'll be sure to do that, and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Thank you for watching, bye.